yet another edition of High Events. And today, we are at the Canned Market at One Golf Face, which happens every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I'm going to go check out the Canned Market, so join in. So we are here at level one of One Golf Face. And you know the season is just around the corner. So if you are on the lookout for any goodies from wine to even fruit cocktails, you should head on here and start purchasing. I have with me Rosi Sena Nayaka and I would just like to ask you a very simple question. What do you think and what should we be doing more to support small businesses with events like this? Okay, I think uh, first of all you need to get here to one golf phase and support the uh, can market because these are startups and, um, and also some of these stuff are local craft. Uh, we need to encourage, first of all, we need to encourage local craft and we need to encourage local businesses. And uh, also uh, at a time like this in a pandemic situation, I think uh, us encouraging uh, local startups, local craft uh, is absolutely important. And I think people should come down here. And first of all, I'm so glad that uh, one goal phase is open, that things are uh, open and uh, almost back to normal. But uh, while making it back to normal and you know encouraging small businesses and businesses, people also need to adhere to all the uh, uh, health guidelines and the health norms. Uh, that's important. If we do uh, take responsibility in uh, going through all the health norms and the guidelines, we would be able to you know basically get back to almost normal. It, it'll never be normal though under these situations, but at least to be able to, you know, um, encourage local startups, encourage businesses, encourage people to get back to normalcy is very important. But the can market, uh, I, I admire Keshi and the work she's doing to help uh, local startups, to help people who are doing uh, handicrafts and uh, local creativity and local craft. Uh, so I haven't seen a place that encourages, um, you know, local craft uh, like the can market because the can market is unique. And I would also like to uh, thank the Shangri-La Group for allowing them, giving them permission to, you know, basically showcase their goods and to get back to normalcy in a situation like this when people are going through hardships. Thank you so much. with me Arosha from Yellow Plum. Hi Arosha, how are you feeling? I'm really good actually. Yeah. Right. So I see behind me a lot of goodies. Can you tell everyone at home what exactly they are? Okay, we are doing a dehydrate uh, fruit here. So uh, normally people in Sri Lanka is really normal to have uh, let's say tropical fruits. But what we are doing here is we are taking that tropical fruit to another level. We are trying to dehydrate and add it some value. So we are trying really hard to make an export uh, while in this uh, we are facing this pandemic so uh, and we are really happy and uh, the this this kind of market for for our opportunity to show our products to the market and uh, maybe find some uh, buyers or exporters so we are really happy to have this opportunity with me Nishantha from Coco Star Herbal Products Private Limited. How are you feeling Nishantha? Would you like to speak a little bit about the products that you have? Have a good day uh, everyone. The, I'm Coco Star Herbal Products Private Limited Chairman. My products in Sri Lanka or out of country, money back guarantee products, our products uh, doing all natural herbals. This is our organic soap, soap total fatty matter 88.8 .8, and then we have 95% aloe vera face and body can use. at the Cannes Market and I have with me Linda from Linda Salon. 
Hi Linda, how are you doing? I am fine. All right. So this can market, how long have you been a part of it or how long has your business been functioning rather? Actually, I've been a part of it for about one year in Colombo CC and now we are in one golf phase. Can you explain a little bit about, I see beautiful slippers and a lot of nice outfits. Can you explain a little bit about the process? I just started it like a um, uh, hobby and now it has been like, uh, it has been one of uh, the part of my life. Like now I am so happy to do these, uh, hand, all, all these are handmade slippers. So I'm really happy and proud of my business. That's great. It's very nice to know that, you know, there's opportunities for small businesses. Thanks to Canned Market. So if you are at OGF, just walk in. So we're at level three of One Golf Face. And as you can see, there's a lot of, you know, handloom products, leather products, and even rattan goods. So if you are in the mood to get a little bit of a shopping spree done, why don't you just walk in and support a small business? Right here at One Golfing. I have with me Thusita from Kithula Products, which engages in creating goods right out of, you know, the Kithul wood. So, Tusita, can you just explain a little bit about the process for everyone at home? Actually, uh, we, we are making uh, Kithul wood-based uh, products mainly uh, for the hotels and, uh, and homes. Uh, actually, uh, the Kithul wood is uh, really uh, hard wood. Actually, it's, uh, it's people are using it for water resist uh, as a yeah actually so furthermore i see behind me a lot of these lamp shades which are created from i think from what i can see rattan and uh, banana leaf so can you actually explain a little bit about the process and the benefit we are always trying to get the uh, natural resources which uh, people don't use uh, usually we are uh, making these products with our young pe uh, people in our village. We are from Gaul actually. Uh, so uh, we can give a best price for uh, good quality products. Thank you so much, Tusita. for joining me as I checked out the can market happening at One Golf Face every Saturday and every Sunday. So I'm Nisri Guru Singha, signing off. <music>